I want to make the game that I've been waiting 25 years to play. Transformers War for Cybertron really started with a sketch of Bumblebee, and we redesigned that character to modernize it all up to be much more of a realistic adult version. That was that first sketch that we slid across the table to Hasbro and said, what do you guys think? And that's where it all started. I think the approval process for Hasbro, especially nerve-wracking, in a sense it's like George Lucas looking at you redesigning Luke Skywalker. My name is Aaron Archer, I'm Senior Design Director, and I oversee the Transformers universe for Hasbro. Activision came to Hasbro and said they wanted to make a kind of a breakthrough game, definitely a gamer game, and the original idea was we've had a couple games that were based on Earth, how about going to Cybertron? And that's a really cool place, it's the home planet of the Transformers, and the early days of that civil war between the Autobots and Decepticons was a story that really hadn't been fleshed out in any format. Hasbro has been fantastic to work with. What they've allowed us to do is take a licensed property and treat it like a brand new IP. To see it grow beyond what our imaginations at Hasbro could be, to be additive to that universe is fantastic. They've taken such a keen interest in what we've put together that my confidence yeah, that fans are going to love what story we're telling is extremely high because it's got that Hasbro stamp on it as this is it. It's an amazing opportunity for us at High Moon Studios to work on creating the canon for what Transformers are going forward. Transformers War for Cybertron takes place on Cybertron. It's their backstory of what they were doing and how they became to be before they ever came to Earth. Because we're not tied to a movie, we're able to tell our own story. This is the Transformers game that they've been waiting for for the last 20 years. It's based on the G1 universe. We're showing how Optimus rises into his leadership position. All those things were really cool to explore and build from. That people wouldn't expect yet. You know, it's all fuzzy. We all kind of think we know, but you're really going to see it here. I was thrilled. I think we were all thrilled to design the Cybertron. As much as a, a paradigm of science fiction as Star Wars or Star Trek, uh, it, it influenced all of our childhoods and probably, you know, our career paths as artists. I'd say the influences for developing the art is really the original Generation 1 uh, animated series and the film. On top of that, there's elements of Tron and Blade Runner and, and Aliens and the, the grittier, more textural science fiction films that I think influence all of us. I think Transformers fans will like this game because we took it seriously, we took the property seriously. We, had, we have almost a, a reverence for, for the original. It takes something that you may have had a fondness for as a kid and a, and a really kind of violent, dark, adult style that I think people that are into games like Call of Duty will be able to get into. I think people are going to be blown away by the effort. I just can't wait to get the ball rolling. This won't be the only touch point. It's a big place that we're going to build off of. It's been a fantastic experience to revisit all those childhood memories, gather the resource from the huge lore that is Transformers, and then shape that into basically a brand new vision of what Transformers are in a way that people haven't seen before.